All right, with this West 2 Facebook Live update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Manolfi. Hope you guys are having a good uh, Thursday. We are wrapping it up here. Excuse me, Wednesday, getting over the hump and uh, getting ready to move into Thursday, I should say. And uh, we've got uh, plenty of heat today and plenty of heat coming in our way tomorrow. So, uh, again, if you're a fan of the warmer weather, uh, you are going to be loving uh, tomorrow. And then uh, I think as we head... Uh, into the upcoming weekend, our rain chances start going up and uh, our temperatures will come down. Still be plenty humid and we're not talking about any significant fall front, uh, but just wanted to put that out there for you. We're going to break it all down for you here in a second. Uh, let's begin with a sh couple shout outs. Here's Carla Dean. Carla, it was a pleasure to have you in here. Uh, let me switch this on over uh, so that you can see what we have. And what we have is uh, a, we had a warm day today. Uh, look at these afternoon highs. It's just, uh, it was amazing uh, how warm it was uh, out there today. We hit 93 degrees, folks. 93 degrees uh, in Orlando today. That is not a record high, uh, believe it or not, but it is certainly, it is certainly up there. Uh, the record high for today, by the way, was 96. Uh, so we didn't miss it by much. Um, all right, a couple more shout-outs. Diane Cormier, Teresa Costa, Jennifer wagner Loman, Christine, good to have you there. Sharon Lee Olmo. Uh, let's see, we got here. We got a heat wave. Yes, Marilyn Giroux. Uh, good to have you. Always a pleasure to have you in the house there, young lady. Uh, let's see who else I may have missed. Tom Drab, Christine Marie Gonzalez. I am having a spectacular day. Hope you are too. Yvette Gomez from uh, Rockledge. We got Diane Cormier, we got Terry Lottie, we got uh, Kat Devine, we got Hilda, it's hot, 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 uh, incorrect, Bonnie Churchill, Pam Ann, Pammy Poo, what's going on, girl, look at that purple in your avatar, wowza, looking nice. Uh, all right, so we did it again, today marked the 125th time, Mary Evans, uh, that we hit the 90 degree mark plus, Christina Marie, blessings all around, friends, Christine Marie, I knew I liked you. Good egg there, that one. Uh, sea Bears Garcia from Altamont Springs. Vivid Saunders, having just now popped in. I live look in outside here for you. You can kind of see it's a beautiful but warm evening. 85. Temps should be coming in any minute here. April Blair, uh, a pleasure to have you in here, young lady. Always appreciate you popping in and, and saying hi. Terry Lottie saying hey, Mary. All right, let's take a look now at uh, what is going on here uh, close to home and as you can see <clears throat> we have a very large area of low pressure to the northwest of Orlando and what that is doing is creating a little moisture plume there from the Gulf of Mexico over northern Florida. Kathy Reagan good to have you there appreciate you popping in saying hi looking uh, very uh, Florida-esque with the, uh, the blonde hair and the, uh, the shades Wanda Hamilton, Suzanne Slater, uh, Kay McCullough Good to have you there. 2.5 in Taylor County. Wowza. Uh, Marianne Zacone, happy Wednesday evening to you. Michelle Tardy has popped in. Mish, always a pleasure to have you. Uh, Hilda Smith, uh, we may turn a little bit cooler this weekend, but but certainly not that fall blast that we're, we're looking for. Uh, please, we need dry, cool weather, says Suzanne. Billy Early Lamonico, always a pleasure to have you. Uh, there's a peek at the satellite and the radar. You can see a few showers there. Uh, and, and then the live radar up north. We had a couple of showers earlier. Uh, now uh, we have a few showers here uh, just west of the downtown area. And that is trying to eke back towards <coughs> I-4. How about that? Helene Risch, always a pleasure to have you there. Lori Whitehurst, Victoria Harrison Magoot, uh, good to have you. Uh, EEC radar. In the south, we need a little cooler. Oh, Mary, the fish. I'm with you. The fish is in there. Brittany Fish. Look, Kathy Fisher, Brittany Fischetti. Look at that. The two youths. Love that. Kathy, Brit uh, Brittany, how you, how's your day going, guys? Hope you all are doing well. Uh, Miss Premier Cruises and uh, Toll House Semi. Look at that. <whistles> and Michelle Tardy sharing is carrying. Yes, Dry and Z Hills says Viv Ed. All right, let's take a look at these current temperatures outside, then we'll peruse into the uh, um, Steve Thompson. Good to have you there. It's, uh, New Smyrna Beach is in the house. Uh, Palm Coast, look at Man Maniel's Bobcat Service in Palm Coast. Sean Maniel, good to have you there, sir. 
Uh, Phil, I don't for, for Florida, so that's good. Darlene Mice, hello to you. Justin Godwin, uh, always a pleasure to have you, sir. The dews, we take a look at the dews to take a look at the measure of the amount of moisture when the dews are in the 70s. It is a warm, humid, sticky night. And that, my friends, is what we have going on. All right, future cast for tonight. Showing a few showers. Uh, looks to be a little bit overdone north and west, uh, but spot on. In downtown right now. So partly right, partly wrong. Any sense of it? Woo! Suzanne, he, uh, uh, it sounds like he's recovering from uh, COVID. If he was on a ventilator, correct me if I'm wrong. And congrats, uh, blessings to you and your family on, on his return home. Uh, that is a beautiful thing. Uh, Brittany, it rained Saturday, a few showers on Sunday, especially the farther east you go. Vicky, I know, I need it. Sean Lee Olmo, grateful. There we go. Uh, so coffee, send me the coffee. Oh, coffee, how I love that. Ooh, well, Suzanne, I am glad he is he's doing better. Got to build up his strength now, right, Suzanne? Tell him we said hi. Tell him we're uh, thinking about him there, by the way. Uh, from from Connecticut there, Suzanne Slater. Good to have you there. Uh, Kathy, you, you, you may. You, you may in the Palm Bay area. Yes, indeed. All right, let's take a look at the hour by hour for tomorrow. <clears throat> kind of break this down. Karen Michelle? Yes, I do know you love coffee. Karen's in the house, in the villages. There you go, Suzanne. Love that. A uh, nap. You know, I'm always good for a nap. You're welcome. Uh, Helene Rich, strong coffee. Oh, yeah. Give me some strong, very strong coffee. All right, there we go. There's future cast. Boom. Look at the showers. Four or five. Try to cover the data. Oh, a little collision there. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> Feel short. <laughs> Thank you, sir. A little collision late. And then we got into Friday. Notice the push towards the eastern side of the peninsula. That is because of a stronger push. Jess, no doubt it is hot, hot, hot. I did have a good dinner, yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, yes. There we go. So that's a look at future cast for the next 48 hours. And then we take a look at the rainfall prospects through 11 p.m. Friday night. Boom, you can see the coast doing very, very well. Some interior areas. I did, Helene, yes. Uh, also looking pretty good. All right, dog walking forecast. <clears throat> Here would start, that's a couple of afternoon showers. Temps in the low 90s. Lisa Borelli, Lisa, how you been there? What have you been up to, girl? We missed you, by the way. Thank you, as always, for popping in and saying hi. Uh, how's the family? The kids, the hubby, how's everybody doing over there? Miss Merritt Island. There's the golf forecast looking pretty good. KK McCall, you a golfer? Beach forecast for Lisa. Uh, maybe she's needing a beach day. Uh, yes, Mary Evans, if that verifies, correct. Uh, southeast winds creating some moderate rip currents. Uh, Jess, we have been above average this week for sure, yes. Rip risk is going to be moderate to high. Stella's doing good. Um, she did squirrel the other day. That's not good. High tide 909. Low tide will be at 324. Pool forecast. Looking like this. 78, 87, and 88. Lisa, get your beach day in tomorrow there, girl. Work on your tan line. That's what I'm saying. All right, tractions for those of you headed to there. Ah, oh, all right, okay. That's, that's good to know about you. A little nugget there. Uh, Jess. Uh, Lisa, do you guys golf? Just out of curiosity, since we had that golfing forecast up. And who's who's got pets? There's the dog walking forecast. Uh, Sh uh, Sh uh, Shanna, early afternoon. Everyone is good. Single life is good. Okay, all right, gotcha. Uh, sea World, twelve, three, and five. And there you go, eighty-seven, ninety-two, and eighty-eight. Uh, and and the cat and the dog, Lisa. I don't know if you have pets, but I just felt like saying that. Mary Evans. Uh, Mary. Mary, is, Mary, are you having a glass of wine again? Daytona Beach is so blessed. 
Yes. There's the attractions. Here's a look at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, there's a look at Epcot. I mean, look, we're covering all the bases. Look, sh afternoon showers is the theme. Uh, at least I knew you might like that one. Ashley, I'm feeling... Oh, there you go, Helene. No golfing for you. All right, that's fine. We're not going to hold that against you. Uh, all right, so Mary, Lisa, Helene, Carolyn, what do you guys do for fun? What do you guys like to do in your, in your spare free time? Carolyn! Will it rain on Saturday? Carolyn, it does look wet. Be buenos noches to you, uh, Rosie Martinez. Happy birthday, early birthday to you, Jessica. The vitamin D3. Dogs and cats. Ooh, we have an animal lover there. Love that. Uh, Sue Raymond, good to have you there. Kids are, uh, ooh, very good. It is awesome. Uh, <laughs> Mary, I love that. Always blessed with wine, Tony, says Mary. Mary, in moderation, of course, all right? My bottle, babe. <laughs> Uh, Disney, there you go. Disney looks good. There's uh, Universal Studios. Speaking of Halloween Horror Nights, uh, there you go. Well, there's a peek. There's a look at the Universal forecast. 82, 92, and 88. There you go. Look at these temps. Check it. Diane Irene has popped in. Diane. Oh, Diane. Middle 80s at the beaches, lower 90s through the interior. There we go. Now, tomorrow night, by the way, uh, down at the Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center, Ziggy Marley will be performing. Uh, that's right, Ron. There you go. Um, I'm going to go with the, the Red Hot Cardinals. Jennifer Schofield, hello to you. Christina. Chris, Chris, Kristen Kustra. Uh, Brian Keller in the house. Look at Ziggy Marley, 5, 7, 30, and 9. A few showers around. Uh, weekend. Marianne Zacone has popped in. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Jimmy appreciated that. Uh, all right, so there's Saturday, there's Sunday. Front just kind of close by. And then next week, that front kind of washes on out, and the deeper moisture for now uh, looks to be just to the east. So there you go. Vivette, she's drinking some scotch. <clears throat> or is that whiskey? Can't tell. Uh, I would never go, says Kate, Halloween Horror Nights. All right, rainfall. There we go. Through Monday. Look at that. Euro is going an inch to an inch and a half. The GFS is going a half an inch to an inch and a half. So there you go. There you go, Lee. I love that. There it is. All right, tropically speaking, not much going on. This is good. Linda Samuel. Linda Lusky. What's up, Linda? How are you? Little feature there is going to go off to the north and the east. Not really too worried about it. Strawberry watermelon flavored water. Just nice. Every little rain does help. That is absolutely correct, uh, Mr. Juan. Dr. Phillips, Brad Hughes, the Hughesinator. Good to have you there, sir. Here's a look now on October formation. Likely, more likely, and most likely. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Watching baseball at the heavy room. There you go, Diane. Who are you rooting for tonight, by the way? Who do you want? Bourbon, says Vivian. All right, so today is the five-year anniversary of Hurricane Matthew along the East Coast. Uh, and remember, while well working here. And then when we take a look at this, uh, well, you know, Facebook's had some issues here, of course, of late. Look at look at look at uh, the GFS. <clears throat> there it is. Couple features. Look at that. Maybe a little feature trying to come at San Juan, but it gets hooked to the north and the east, and then a hint of some drier weather on the Euro at 2:40 through the upper Midwest. Too early to tell if it's going to make it here. Uh, here's the Europeans' interpretation. Again, a couple features just like the GFS. But with an upper low nearby, kind of keeping things weak and ripped apart. So there you go. Now, if you notice, the euro has got a much stronger front coming through the upper Midwest towards the end of the period. Now, let's take a look at this. There's your seven-day forecast. And as you can see, tomorrow is going to be hot. In Fuego, um, 92 
89 on Friday, rain chances going up. Saturday, 50% rain chances. Sunday, 40. Monday, 40. And then Tuesday and Wednesday at about 30%. Diane Radner, Denise Andrews, always a pleasure to have the two of you in here. Appreciate you guys always popping in. Now, let me show you the national satellite perspective because uh, Linda, not in the next seven days. Sorry. Um, you can see here, look at that big spinning p pinwheeling upper low. A little bit of moisture gathered here into the Western Caribbean. So we'll watch that. Not too concerned yet, but something to watch. Uh, look at the Pacific Northwest. That is a ginormous storm right there, folks. And it's bringing a lot of rain with out west, which is good because of the fire situation. And a lot of cooler weather. Look at the blue. That's the temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Uh, snowpack here has begun to increase a little bit out west. You can see some dots there in Colorado and in Utah and up there along the Washington Canadian line. And when you look at these temperatures now, 92, yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. 32 in Alaska, 29 in Fort Ross, Baker Lake 34. Look at that big dump of cooler weather. Portland's only 56. Vancouver, 52. Iqaluit, 41. The Nain Airport, 45. So you can see a big dip in the temperatures there off to the west. Um, and Sam will not be retired only because it did not have any significant impact uh, on uh, any land masses. That's typically when things are retired, by the way. It's a good question, Brian. Good evening to you, Sue to Denise. Hoping for no hurricanes next Thursday. There you go. 75, yeah. Let him enjoy while last. Uh, the Northeast is in the 50s. El Paso is at 85. Havana is 81, Panama City also 81, Bogota 59, La Paz, Bolivia 46. That's right. That <laughs> land is moving to Fort Ross. Yeah, I'm going to pass. 45 in Punta Arenas, Cape Town 61, Niami 90, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia coming in at 75. Tony Tone, Sunshine, New York. Sunshine, what's cooking, girl? Miss Westchester. Love you, girl. You know that. Uh, Sunshine, what have you been up to, by the way? How's the family doing? Everybody doing all right? Gary S. Ward, Satellite Beach. And Sunshine, when are you coming back to the Sunshine State? Permanently, by the way. Hello. Uh, all I want for Christmas is nice weather, says Jojo Hernandez, K.K. McCullough. Um, here's what we got. Heading north now. Oslo at 48. Kiev at freezing 32. Moscow at 30. I lived there in the 1960s, says K. Woof. Baku, 55. Muscat, Yemen, 81. We got some cold air brewing up there in Siberia. Astana, 23. Surgut, 37. Bratsk and Ulaanbaatar in the upper 20s. And Yakutsk, uh, eastern Siberia, coming in at 34 degrees. Beijing, 52. Metisca, thank you for popping in. Beijing, 52. Sapporo, 54. Shanghai, 77. Hong Kong, 86. Ho Chi Minh City, 79. Oh, sunshine. Way to go. Excellent. Uh, will that be work or play down there in West Palm, young lady? That is a beautiful, uh, beautiful area. I hope you get to stay for an extended stay, if you know what I mean. Uh, Vivid Saunders, Burr. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and how's the family up there in New York? You been to, been in Manhattan lately? Are they cleaning it up? I heard it was uh, pretty smelly there during the whole COVID thing. Can you confirm or deny that? Uh, Manila, 84. Macassar, 79. Alice Springs, 70. Perth coming in at 54. Hobart Airport, 54. And Auckland coming in at 64. 70 sound great. Annie Lacani. Uh, my librarian look right there. Love that. Annie, always looking spiff and sharp and smart. Gerardo Lopez, sir, always a good thing to have you in here. You know that. My, my, my peeps. Jennifer Schofield. 
Uh, 70s by day is not in the cards, not yet anyway, sorry. Uh, but let me show you, Jennifer, that seven-day forecast. 70s at night, however, are. Uh, Vived has shared the feed. Vived, thank you so much. Sharing is caring. That is my motto. Uh, absolutely. Uh, 92 on Thursday, 89 on Friday, 88 on Saturday, 87 there on Sunday. Uh, there's a new list every seven years, but the list continuously changes, so it could be a long time in between uh, repeating a same storm. And KK gotcha in Westchester in the 1960s. Jay Schofield, Ooh, not liking the heat. Well, there you go. At least we're not 95 100. That's correct, Sunshine. Well said. I, gotta, I agree with that 100%. Growing up there on Long Island and heading into the city where family is all the time, you do. Uh, so that's, uh, that's good. All right, let me wrap it up here. Say goodnight for now. You guys are a great group, a fun group. I love uh, how we uh, chat and banter. Everybody's so polite and, uh, uh, and good to each other, looking out for each other. That's, that's what these things are all about. It's not just weather. It's the camaraderie. Whether you're from New York or whether you're from uh, Vegas, We've had people in here from all over the world, by the way, and tonight uh, we're kind of keeping it within the United States, and that's fine. That's good. Uh, anyway, let me let you guys rock and roll, do your uh, Wednesday night thing, and I will uh, be right back here again tomorrow night. Same bad channel, same bad time, Facebook, right around 8-ish. All right, gang, toodles, stay safe. Night-night. <laughs>